Hi, I'm Ken with some easy steps to make your tree decorating go a lot smoother this season. Upon receiving your tree kit, open it up and you will find inside ornaments, ribbons, wire, and floral stems. Before you can begin decorating your tree, it's important that you shape all your floral stems. We're going to start with this velvet poinsettia blossom. It will come to you packaged, remove all the packaging and tags from everything. And begin with the two leaves, separate them out, and with a slight pinch with two fingers and a pull, you can slightly curve the leaves. We're going to continue this method on the petals also. Take one petal, bend it down between your thumb and your forefinger, or your index finger there. You can give a slight curve to it. Repeat that to all the petals, and as you continue all the way around, your blossom will begin to open up and take shape. Repeat this process on all of the poinsettia blossoms. The next stem you will find is a leaf spray. This leaf spray is actually divided into three sections. If you slightly separate it, you will see the three sections. Once you get the section separated, it's important that you go back in and separate all of the leaves. And you can do the same process as you did on the poinsettia blossom. Give it a little curvature to the leaf that adds depth and some interest. Do this on all three sections to get a nice look to your leaf spread. Follow this with all of your leaf sprays. And the last stem is a beaded ball stem. This is the easiest one to shape. There's no shaping required. Now you can begin decorating your tree. To begin decorating your tree, or step one, we're going to add all of our floral stems to the tree. I like to start at the top of the tree. I've already added one of the beaded ball sprays. I'm going to add another one to the other side. Carefully drop it through, place it into the tree. Give a little separation of the stems just to create more movement and excitement up there. Now we can, can begin adding some of our other stems. We have the leaf spray. We're going to have one of those on either side up top. And as you start coming down the tree, you can begin bringing your leaves in backwards and then bend them forward so the tips show out of the tree. A couple of our plantsonia blossoms. We're going to add one to the other side. Continue all the way down the tree until all the floral stems are, have been added. Remember to evenly disperse them so that you get good color value all the way around the tree. Step two is adding the ribbon to the tree. I've already pre-cut my ribbon, the gold and red, into one yard pieces. We're going to start with one of the pieces and be consistent. We're going to start with gold. In every bow we make, we will start with the gold. If you take it, overlap it about an inch and a half to two inches, you'll have a circle. Find the middle on the other side, bring them together, and then pinch them. And hang on to that. Now we're going to take the red ribbon and do the same thing. Create a loop by bringing the two ends together, overlap them, bring in the other side, Add it to the gold ribbon and carefully pinch it in. Now you've got your bow with the two colors. To anchor or to secure the bow, we're going to take one of the pieces of flocked wire that's in your tree kit, add it over the top of the ribbon and in between your index and middle finger. Then bend the wires till they meet on the opposite side and pull it tight. You can support the ribbon with your two fingers and pull the wire through very tight 
and turn it by twisting it to secure the bow. Now you can add it to the tree. You can add a couple up at the top on either side and just use the wire from the bow to anchor and twist it to secure it in place. A little bit of shaping and moving it around. Continue adding the rest of your bows till you get your tree filled with your ribbons all the way to the base. I'm adding the last bow to the tree and the finishing touches of the ribbon. But I do want to remind you, as you're adding your bows, don't put them on the extreme tip of the branch. That spot is for your ornaments later. You want to go into the tree a little bit to create some depth and to leave those spaces for those ornaments. Now we're ready for our final step, the ornament. We're going to begin by just carefully adding our ornaments and remember to disperse them evenly around the tree. You have many ornaments to pick from, from leaves and spheres, but there's lots of placements to continue until your tree is complete. There, we've just added the last ornament to the tree, and the tree is finally done. From all of us at Bellows, we want to wish you a very, very happy and successful holiday season.